This video is sponsored by Squarespace. The James Webb Space Telescope focused on Jupiter's moon Europa and found something truly remarkable. It discovered carbon dioxide in a very specific place on the surface of the moon, hinting that something intriguing is happening inside it. Decades of exploration of the solar system have shown that Jupiter's moon, Europa, is one of the most promising places where we can find life beyond Earth. That's because of the vast ocean the moon hides beneath its icy crust. The first evidence of the subsurface ocean came when NASA's Voyager spacecraft flew past Jupiter about half a century ago. The data from the spacecraft revealed that Europa was not just icy, but had a young, frequently rejuvenated outer surface. Further missions to study Jupiter and its moons suggested that Europa's underground ocean of liquid water contains twice the volume of all of Earth's oceans combined. However, what truly piques our interest in this moon is the possibility that it may have hosted life within its mysterious dark waters, where organic molecules and potential energy sources might exist. And now, the most powerful space telescope ever built has delivered its first significant results concerning the Jovian moon. So how did Webb discover carbon dioxide on the surface of Europa? How are astronomers so sure that it came from beneath the surface of the moon? Finally, and most importantly, why is the discovery of carbon dioxide on the surface of Europa so important? Speaking of exploration, let me introduce you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you're someone who has no coding experience or software knowledge, but still want to establish an online presence, like building a website or an e-commerce store, Squarespace has got your back. With Squarespace, you can easily create a stunning website without the need of hiring a developer. Squarespace offers powerful blogging tools to help you share your ideas with the world. You can even categorize and schedule your content in advance. With Squarespace extensions, you can connect your site to a range of trusted third-party tools to enhance its functionality. Also with Squarespace email campaigns, you can effortlessly gather email subscribers promote sales, and offer exclusive discount codes to loyal customers. They even provide built-in analytics to measure the impact of your email campaigns. So if you want to give it a try, you can visit squarespace.com slash the secrets of the universe. And if you like it, you can get a 10% discount off your very first purchase by clicking the link in the description. The James Webb Space Telescope used two key instruments to study Europa, NIRCAM and NIRSPEC. NIRCAM is James Webb's primary camera. It specializes in capturing high-resolution images within the near-infrared range of the light spectrum. NIRCAM consists of two modules, one for wide-field imaging and another for coronagraphy, a technique designed to suppress the bright light emitted by stars or planets thus revealing fainter objects surrounding them. Astronomers first used the NIRCAM instrument to block out the glare of Jupiter and observe Europa. This observation took place on January 9, 2023, during Europa's closest approach to Earth. James Webb was precisely aligned, with its 6.5-meter primary mirror pointed at Europa for approximately 10 hours. During this time, Data was collected simultaneously by both NIRCAM and NIRSPEC. Now let's delve into what the James Webb Space Telescope discovered on Europa's surface. The data analysis unveiled the presence of carbon dioxide in a specific area of Europa's icy surface. Carbon dioxide is a gas composed of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms, and it stands as one of the most significant molecules in the universe. As we understand it, it plays a crucial role in life, participating in processes like photosynthesis, respiration, and metabolism. It also functions as a greenhouse gas, trapping heat and influencing a planet's climate. The first thing astronomers wanted to discover was the source of carbon dioxide. Was it coming from outer space or from within Europa? If it were coming from micrometeorites or things from outside the moon, it would have been more or less the same everywhere. But in this case, it was localized in a specific area. This area is known to be geologically new chaos terrain. 
which is very interesting because it indicates something is happening beneath it. The question now arises, how did carbon dioxide find its way onto Europa's surface and why is it confined to a single region? The answer lies in the likelihood that this carbon originated from Europa's subsurface ocean, which is considered a potential habitat for life. Europa's ocean is estimated to be roughly 100 kilometers deep, containing more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. The gravitational forces exerted by Jupiter, which stretch and compress Europa's interior, generate heat and energy, maintaining the ocean in a liquid state. A layer of ice measuring between 10 to 30 kilometers in thickness separates the ocean from the surface. However, this ice layer is far from uniform or static. It is dynamic and marked by fractures, cracks, vents, and other features. These openings in the ice allow for the exchange of materials between the ocean and the surface. The carbon dioxide detected by James Webb could have made its way to the surface through various mechanisms. It might have been dissolved in the ocean water and subsequently released as a gas or ice due to changes in pressure or temperature. Alternatively, it could have been produced through chemical reactions or biological processes in the ocean and then transported to the surface by ocean currents or jets. The region where carbon dioxide was observed is near Europa's equator, covering approximately 12% of its surface area. This area is referred to as chaos terrain due to its intricate and disordered landscape characterized by ridges, cracks, blocks, pits, domes, and depressions. This chaotic appearance is thought to result from the dynamic interactions between the ice shell and the underlying ocean, causing ice to melt, freeze, fracture, and rearrange itself. This particular region is also among the most geologically active and diverse areas on Europa, making it an ideal target for observation by Webb's instruments. You must be wondering, why is the discovery of carbon dioxide on Europa's surface such a big deal? Well, the presence of carbon dioxide suggests the possibility of organic molecules or even biological activity within Europa's hidden aquatic realm. Carbon dioxide can engage in chemical reactions with water to form carbonic acid, which can further dissociate into bicarbonate and hydrogen ions. These ions can influence the ocean's pH levels, salinity, temperature, and circulation, creating distinct chemical environments that may be suitable for various types of life forms. Additionally, carbon dioxide can react with other elements or molecules to give rise to more complex organic molecules, such as sugars, amino acids, nucleotides, and lipids. These molecules serve as the foundational building blocks for life as we understand it, constituting carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids and fats. They also can store energy or information that can be harnessed by living cells. Moreover, carbon dioxide can be both consumed and produced by biological activity within the ocean. For example, certain microorganisms can utilize carbon dioxide as a source of carbon and energy through processes like photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. The discovery of carbon dioxide in Europa would also help us in planning our future missions. One such mission is NASA's Europa Clipper, designed to conduct multiple flybys of Europa and investigate its geology, composition, and environment. The Europa Clipper mission will have various instruments including cameras, spectrometers, radars, magnetometers, and plasma detectors. The data gathered by James Webb will assist in selecting optimal targets and strategies for exploration, testing hypotheses regarding the habitability of Europa's ocean and searching for potential signs of life. Recently, the close-up images of Pluto showed that something weird is happening on the dwarf planet. We may have made a mistake removing it from the list of planets in the solar system. If you missed this episode, be sure to catch up on the exciting discovery.